Word in five. In James chapter five, verses seventeen and eighteen, the apostle was saying something interesting here. He said Elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. In verse 18, and he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth a fruit. It's a very challenging passage. Not because Elijah turned rain off and on by his will, but because James said, he's a man of like passion, as myself and yourself. Like passion means giving to seasons of loneliness and seasons of depression, times when you think God is far away, times when you think things are not working your way. Yet, in spite of being of like passion, he did something that many of us would not even dream of doing. He went to the court of Ahab and he said to them, according to my word, there will be no rain and there will be no dew unless I say so. And it was so for more, for a couple of years. Three years specifically, there was no rain, simply because the man of God spoke. Friends, I would like that kind of power. And this guy here, James is saying, he's just like me and you. This is why I'm starting to look at Elijah closely, wondering if he's a man like me. He eats. I remember part of his story was that he was hungry and an angel had to feed him. At a time, ravens brought food for him. This guy eats like I eat, sleeps like I sleep. When Jezebel threatened him, he was afraid like I'm giving to fear. Yet he spoke and God honored him. I wonder what was the secret of Elijah. And since there's no book to read, we have to look at Elijah himself and ask him, Elijah, what's your secret? He told us. He told us. When he was in the court of Ahab, Elijah told us the secret. He went on to the king Ahab and he said, King, as sure as the Lord God of Israel liveth before whom I stand. Then he proclaimed, there will be no rain or dew unless I say so. He said he knows that God is alive. And he said he knows that he's standing before God. This is the secret of Elijah. The way we pray, the way we talk, the way we relate to God shows that perhaps we think God is a phantom, God is somewhere, God is something, but God is not alive. Elijah does know that God is living. He deals with a living God. He knows God as God who hears, God who talks, God who has substance. And he stands before him. The word he used there is the word of a waiter. I stand before the Lord. He has a relationship with God. My point, my friend, is that the relationship of Elijah to his God is the secret of Elijah. He knew the Lord. Does the Bible not say that they that do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits? I know men move from place to place. In Nigeria, here people are looking for mountains. There are different, different mountains where people go to pray. I think the days are over. Mountains are no longer working. It is no longer a season for you to look for a prophet to lay hands on you. It's time that men like you and I begin to seek our God to know him personally. So that we will be able to say to others, I know my God is alive and I stand before him. My prayer for you is that you will know God in reality. The days of religion are over. The coming years are going to see prophets, young, young people who will be giving directions unto the church. It won't be a general thing happening to everybody, but they who wait upon him shall meet him when they have completely convinced him that they are seeking him with the whole of their heart. Seek the Lord and you will find him. It's a season to find the Lord. God bless you.